Race two in Catalonia for the Formula Renault 3.5 series is underway. This is the title decider. Antonio da Costa makes a very good start from the second row, takes the lead into the first corner. Poleman Mikhail Alishin keeps second position. In the middle of the field, Daniel Apt makes contact, spins off violently into the gravel. That's race over for him. Title contenders Robin Frins and Jules Bianchi pit at the same time. Fringe keeps the advantage. Antonio Felix da Costa pits at lap 10. That's Jules Bianchi trying to attack at Frins. He locks up, not saving his tyres. The American Alexander Rossi overtakes Sam Bird. And teammates Alishin and Vainio are battling for second position. Here, Jules Bianchi launches an atta attack on Robin Fringe. He overtakes him. Fringe re-attacks, tries to overtake on the inside. There's contact, and Jules Bianchi is forced into the gravel. That's race over, and championship hopes dashed. Vainio overtakes Alishin, but Alishin retakes the place. Way out front, Antonio Felix da Costa cruises to his second victory of the weekend. And a great recovery from Arthur Pick. Overtakes Robin Frins for sixth position. So Felix da Costa's win, but Robin Frins is the 2012 champion. Uh, well, I don't know. I think we had a good start and... To be honest, I, there's not much more I can say. The car is good, and I didn't see anyone at any point. Uh, yeah, I think we have a big gap. I'm happy. The winner on the day, but the winner throughout the whole season, is Robin Frins. An incredible season. He won the Formula Renault 2 litres last year, winning the Formula Renault 3.5 this year. Is really tough. Bianchi was all over me at the beginning, in the middle, everywhere. So I was just the toughest race of my life. <laughs> but toughest race of your life, but you're the champion. Yeah, that's the most important thing, is it? <laughs> and and uh, uh, what can you tell? What's your version of what happened with that incident with Bianchi? Oh, well, he overtook me, and I just went for it. I was side by side. I was front wheel to front wheel, and we hit, and he went off. So no, it was just just uh, just a collision where nobody can. You know, I went for it, and I was there. So or else if I wasn't there, I wouldn't have made the corner.